Hi guys, it's Belle here. I'm just coming with a flip through of these two journals. These were using the Winter Dreams Kit by Release the Craft In um, on Etsy. And um, these are my design team, my December design team projects for her. I got very excited by the kit and decided because Christmas is super busy, I would, or this month, I would make a smaller journal and then ended up making a larger one as well. I will leave all the details of the kit down below. It's called Winter Dreams. There's a main kit that has nine decorated pages and three sort of blank background pages and one, uh, one page that has four journaling cards. Then there's an add-on to that kit that has 10 beautiful painted background pages and then um, four pages of like tags and ephemera. And there's also a winter words kit as well. And at the moment, as far as I know, she's got 30% off in her shop. If you're interested, I don't know how long that's going to last. So, you know, anyway, let's get on with the journals. I'm going to start with the larger one. So this is Clara and she is, um, she's two signatures and she's a larger soft backed journal and um, oh, I just, well, I had this idea in mind to begin with. So the cover is actually a painted background and you can't really see, but you know, Anyone who buys this will be able to see close up that underneath I've used like this metallic ice blue, a gold shimmer and then this darker blue. And then I've covered it all in this beautiful kind of lace that actually came from a scarf and had this ruffle. So I left the ruffle on. I quite liked how that looked. And then I've made a large snippet piece full of... Um, different fabrics that I've used in the journal and laces and netting to sort of cover the spine and then on the front you've got this um sorry I'm I'm in a different position because of Christmas and decorating I've had to rearrange my craft area um and uh, I'm filming in a different position and it I'm trying to get used to it anyway I've got this metal uh oh what they're called metal word piece on the front that I've just put winter and the actual word itself is behind acetate and then you've got these beautiful like dangly gems on there now and there's a side view side view this way you've got some dangles and um, beads and fabric now usually a blue I think goes really well with silver but what Priscilla's done really well in this kit is she's kind of mixed gold and silver with the imagery. So that's why I've used some gold as well and some gold foiling. So let's get started. Like I said, it's two pages. The pages aren't as decorated as I would normally do. There's no stenciling or stamping or corner ephemera pieces um, because I kind of wanted these to be um, used or hope they would be and there's quite a bit of um, ephemera I haven't even used all the ephemera of the kit because there's a lot so so on the inside we've got this is kind of like an eco dyed fabric that I um, had in my stash it's beautiful but it's like in blues so it's gorgeous and the whole kit is just different sh like blues and whites and silver and golds and um, greys and it's just beautiful and there's her name Clara a little snippet here with um, it's like a sari piece or it's off a sari decoration piece you get these two large tags in the kit everything or most things are backed in either tea stained or hand dyed paper and some of them are stamped in the corner you can kind of see the bubbles on that one. I don't know how I got the bubble effect. And then I've used um, an embellishment piece and some buttons on the top. So that goes in there. What I love about this kit is if you're not a Christmas person or if you are a Christmas person but also want something a bit different or 
if you celebrate Yule or Imbolg or um, anything like that, or just like blues and whites and something a bit magical, this has got loads of creatures in it, but also like all these beautiful hands and things. Perfect winter kit that will last you through December into January and into February, depending where you live. So um, I've stitched around some of the pages and here's some sari silk on that pocket here um this is one of the winter words from her winter word kit she's got these smaller tags and all i've done is add some snowflakes to that the glitter a bit of sorry silk this is actually from um a ephemera pack a vintage ephemera pack and the pages were just it was blue lined i thought it went well i've used a lot of my hand dyed blue paper in here it's a beautiful butterfly and flowers and once again Priscilla gets so much texture into her pages like there's words on here and ink splatters and and here's some of the silver foiling that she's got on some of the background pages that are lined a little piece of scrapbook uh, scrap paper and there's um, one of the ephemera pieces and I've just tucked this little card in there and then it's a pocket here with some um, shimmery fabric and then just did some plain stitching and a bit of decorating on these index cards so lots and lots of writing space in here it's a fabric pocket and another hand decorated index card so i've used one of her papers in the background look at those eyes aren't they beautiful it's just stunning and then i've used um gilding throughout and i hope the shimmer picks up and this gilding flakes that i've got have like reds and greens and blues as well as golds and a bit of silver in there so i've used those throughout um some more scrapbook paper with stags and i've just put some tea stain paper on there that i've um, used a side punch on and some die cuts some vintage graph paper another pocket there's lots of stag die cuts in here this is one of the pieces of ephemera that you can get in the add-on kit and um i've used a stamp down there some more gilding and a little flower and some fabric at the top and then this was a tea stain tag that i've literally just put this gorgeous lace flower on i just love how that looks and some sari silk at the top excuse me while i put my jumper up because it's getting very warm some um hand dyed doily some more of my blue paper a little star charm on there and the bowl pins are white with some fabric that's stitched some uh vintage music paper in there some lined paper again one of those background pages um and here you can see she's used gold foiling as part of the background but you can just write on that it's beautiful it's decorative you can write you could put a picture there right up the top and there's the other side again you've got writing space some hand dyed paper in there and then there's a little decorated muslin bag that again i've used some of the one of her pages as the background and then collaged and then you get four of these little tags and what i've done is she's got in the add-on kit there's those um 10 background pages so i've used the background pages on some of the tags and things rather than actual hand dyed pages because there were so many beautiful background pages and i kind of wanted to use them all so this is vintage dictionary page and i believe it says winter and wish there so that was perfect and then some of the fabric is stitched and some of it is stapled because i like the way the silver staples worked against the blue stitching and stuff got a snippet um belly band here similar to the one i used on the side of the journal large journaling card again those eyes vintage music paper some more gilding one of the winter dreams words and then some beautiful sari silk it's kind of green and all aqua and uh, cream and netting behind some more scrapbook paper just a little bit of lace down the side more hand dyed paper little side tuck here and again a large journaling card use the little snippet down here and some more stamps and gilding 
so I really wanted it to be textured look there's one of those beautiful painted background pages um, pom pom trim there there's the middle of the first signature it's got this bear and this gorgeous hand so you can see you can write and stuff and then I've got um, a beautiful clear bead that shimmers a little bit I hope that's picking it up because I can't pick it up I'm actually standing at the moment and a little turquoise bead down below some more line paper that I've added some fabric to and there's a little stag charm there and then um, this little paper clip and one of her journaling cards I just love this bunny and there's like an eye in the background but this really reminds me of Yuletide and the tree I've added some stitching some snowflakes and again backed it with one of her beautiful printed papers so that just kind of tucks onto there oh, oh tuck tuck like so uh, that's the back of some of the scrapbook paper that I've added some of that it's beautiful trim I think I've used it all in these journals and it's got all snowflakes on the back so there is snowflakes in this but snowflakes aren't specifically winter so that's beautiful and this is the other side of that dictionary page that had winter on so it's got all the winter words down here like winter green and winter bark and things like that that's more of her background paper look at that page it's just gorgeous and there's lots of moons on here as well so this is make a brilliant uh like grimoire as well the eyes and the snowflakes just so much texture oh mr page lots of butterflies and moths lined paper so this is vintage music paper another one of my little decorated um index cards using some of the background paper some scrapbook paper scraps and one of the winter words and then this is just a flip down that you can write in as you can see using some thinner scrapbook paper and here we have um, a wax embossed that's got mountains stars and a moon so I thought that went really well extra journaling space got gorgeous beaded embellishment there um hope that's picking up it's got blues and silvers and everything and i doily I, I brought these earlier this year they're like memory pockets that you can use and it actually says memory collection bag february 2020 and then it had all the days and there was one for each month i love how these work in journals because one you can use them and this said february on it which was brilliant um it's got two you know second month it doesn't have to be 2020 and then i've just collaged on that and it's got a little paper clip with some um oh gosh yarn and bits on it so those memory pockets work really good side tuck with another of the journaling tags that I've just collaged a little bit and again used the background paper on the back of the collage down there this comes in the ephemera kit as well this is um a double fabric pocket with this gorgeous trim I think I've only got a tiny bit of this trim left I did use a lot of it in these journals little journaling card sorry too high there with some buttons and some fabric and use the paper on the back again uh one of the tags from the kit um again now i made a little while ago i made a large neutrals scrap master board because i keep everything and so this is one of the tags from that neutrals that i'd cut down there's a tag in each and there's a journaling card in each and um, I just gessoed on the back so it can be written on, stitched around, and there's a little bunny and snowflake. So they go in there. Let me speed it up. Some, some um, that's like a felt trim. Beautiful. Look at that wolf. Um, pocket with a large collaged journaling card that I like to make. Hand dyed paper and stamped on the back. Um, a little bit of fabric snippet down there one of those beautiful background papers and this is like a felt trim as well it's gorgeous look at those eyes so that's the end of the first signature second signature we just have a gorgeous 
little I keep saying little a lot in my things I need to stop bead a faceted bead large pocket here we've got this bingo card that I thought was fun to add um, because of the colors matched and one of the tags from the kit you can see the moons down here but again I've just gilded I hope that picks up and um embellished a little bit some scrapbook paper this is like a velvety a blue velvet it's really lovely some scrapbook paper uh, not scrapbook tea stain paper and this little i think it's an arctic fox stamp that i just thought went brilliantly um large journaling uh, index card that i've just collaged with this gorgeous wolf again lots of writing space stitched around just ticks goes in there it's one of those trees and it's got faint moons in the background it's one of the painted background pages again i've just put a stag in the corner hand dyed doily more vintage graph paper and again a side pocket with some of this is again like a felt snowflake trim this card is in the ephemera add-on kit uh, with the painted backgrounds this is really weird i'm sorry if i'm off camera a little bit guest check that i've collaged with some stamps and a vintage ticket and some um, stamped images and trim you can write completely on the back of there and then this is one of the pages that is cut down to make a large journaling card that you can write on the back of that more scrapbook paper and that gorgeous trim i really hope that picks up the sparkle in that fabric hand dyed paper a little um pocket <laughs> envelope that again i've collaged this is one of the add-ons uh, piece of ephemera there's another ticket and a stamp there and that just tucks on and this is the little clip for that one just tucks on there side pocket one of the tags and then this little i had this it's a fabric tag that someone had gifted me and i've put the stag on it and some sari silk at the top i love that tag i need to sort of make some for myself because i love it so much on the pages this is from a vintage book and it just looks like a winter like a winter woodland scene looks like the park near me actually the fabric on the side and then on the other side is um blow blow thou winter wind by william shakespeare a poem which i thought was appropriate some pale blue green pom-pom trim more hand dyed paper more hand dyed paper so it's gorgeous eyes with the moon i just love it so this is make oh, beautiful printed page. This is make a brilliant winter journal or winter um, book of shadows. So this is like a little vintage. It's actually someone's um, school um, report that I had. I just put that in there, and it's someone for English. Um, though his written work is somewhat crude. He has always taken a lively part in any discussion. I just thought that was fun to put in. And this is from a vintage um, nature, British nature book that I have. So a beautiful stag on there. And then an actual picture of a red deer hind. So that's in there. And another large journaling card that I've made because I just love that hand from one of the pages from the kit. So they're both in there. Try and hurry this up. Um, hand dyed paper a tuck spot this is one of the collage cards from the masterboard the neutrals masterboard with a little owl and gessoed on the back and one of the journaling cards that i've just added some gilding onto oh gosh i can't believe how long i am taking another page that is the middle of the signature look at those eyes and you can see her lips are gilded as well and then there's a glass gilded blue bead down there and a little um, white bead fabric. Um, another one, the journaling cards, that beautiful fox and hand again. And I've just added some embellishment. Try to hurry up now. 
Uh, this is a bag that I have collaged some of the paper, some vintage music, some gilding and again used one of the pages from the kit as a large journaling card that just tucks in there with some lace. Some of that gorgeous eco dyed blue fabric on the side there. There's that beautiful hand that I love. It's one of my favourite pages. Another large pocket. A large collage card with a stamped eye on it. And um, embellishment down the back. And stamping and tea stained. And then I've used one of the embellishments for the kit. For the ticket and a little envelope. And then there is the other side of that um, book page with another poem and the other side of the image and one of the pages, the sort of background pages. Love that hand with the butterflies as well there. Side of the little tuck spot. I made a little collaged journaling card. Just added some snowflakes as it's some snowflake paper, vintage music paper, hand eye paper. This little silver drop that's got like a dark blue crystal in it that looks really pretty. Or oh, that felt trim. This is a double pocket made out of a coin envelope. So I've used lots of bits from the kit to and one of the words to collage. And then a little collage card that I made. It tucks in the front and then there is tuck spot I believe down the back. And this is one of those number cards. Lots of stamps, collaging, buttons, fabric, and it's all backed so it can be written on. That's the vintage graph paper. This is a CD case that, again, I've collaged all around. Little stag on the front, use scrapbook paper on the back so that could be written on. And then there's a little card inside that just pokes out and again has lots of writing space <laughs> another double fabric pocket got this little picture in there that i had or just lace there one of the tags from the kit and then this was a tag that i had in my stash i think it's from another digital from i don't know where stitched around little leaf and some fabric at the top and backed it tucks in there more of that blue velvet and writing space that is the back of that journal and again you there is a beautiful fabric embellishment with some vintage pieces on there with a little um, button the other large i mean look at that large journaling tag and then this is a christmas card now it is a christmas card it does say merry christmas and new year but I've put it in because I've had this ages. I don't actually know how old this card is. And it's got little bunnies and the house and the moon and the owl. So, and it shimmers. Let's see, it's got. I just thought it kind of went with the theme. So that is in there. And this is so long, I'm actually going to have to make a second video for the other journal. But this is Clara. Um, like I said, she's quite chunky. But not too chunky and she'd be perfect to write in because even oh gosh focus focus let's get something it can focus on even the chunky embellishments they can all be easily removed so it can be written on um easily um lots of writing space like i said it's beautiful this kit is beautiful but i'm gonna stop it there because <laughs> i'm going to make another video for the other journal so I will be back again soon. December blessings, everyone. Bye.